what is dermoid cyst so the cyst which lies deep to the skin the lining epithelium of skin is stratified squamous keratinized epithelium and here the cyst is also lined by the squamous epithelium which contains desquamated epithelial cells from the skin and it has a pulpaceous or toothpaste like material which can also be called as epidermal cyst so now what is the common site of occurrence dermoid cyst usually occurs at the line of embryonic fusion let's consider the germ layer ectoderm and mesoderm so what develops from the ectoderm is skin and many structure develops from the mesoderm for example let's consider bones and you can see the line of fusion the cyst is formed by inclusion of epithelium buried at the line of embryonic fusion and this type is called sequestration dermoid few examples of this embryonic line of fusion or midline number 1 is midline of the body especially the neck so here are the few examples of dermoid cysts present in the midline of the body number 2 where it in the face it occurs mostly in the outer canthus of eye and in the root of the nose so what is the embryonic line of fusion at this area for this we should know about the development of face so the face develops from five process they are frontonasal process maxillary process mandibular process two maxillary two mandibular and one frontonasal and here you can see here where the frontonasal and the maxillary process meets is the embryonic line of fusion and the dermoid cyst is most common number 3 in the ear where exactly in the ear posterior auricular region which is posterior auricular dermoid and what is the embryonic line of fusion over here let's consider pharyngeal apparatus so the ear develops from ear hillocks if you have three ear hillocks from first pharyngeal arch and remaining three from the second pharyngeal arch these mesodermal ear hillocks fuses to form pinna and at the line of embryonic fusion the dermoid cyst occurs and next it is most common in the scalp region so where in the skull at the site of fusion of the skull bones so it is common at the sutural lines and this dermoid cyst sometimes starts in the mesoderm so that there may be prolongation of cyst through the bone and the portion of the cyst may remain intracranial and how this occurs so if the cyst lies almost near the mesoderm from where the bones develop we may get indentation in the bone or sometimes it may have intracranial prolongation so this is the reason for bony indentation in dermoid cyst so the complete excision of the cyst is the treatment of choice it should be done with a single incision along langer's line if the cyst is small